With everyone watching her, Natsu left the parlor. From their faces, she could tell that they were expecting the classic mystery pattern. That the first person to quarrel and leave the circle would become the next victim. Natsui couldn't disobey because of the threat against Kraus who had been taken hostage. Very soon it would be that promised time, 1pm. She was to hide for an hour in the closet of a specific guest room. It was easy to suspect that this bizarre order was a trap to select her as the next sacrifice. She thought of various ways to resist, but all methods would be useless against a culprit who had a hostage and was observing her from close by. So Nazi could do nothing but obediently follow that order, and then claim that she had been forced to do this for her husband's safety. When the promised time had drawn near, Natsui had intentionally acted annoyed and smashed the cup on the ground to give her an excuse for slipping out of the parlor. At any rate, no matter how covertly a trap it may be, I cannot disobey now. I am now the one who carries the burden of the one-winged evil. Now that my husband Kraus has been captured, I must protect it even if I have to crawl through the mud. Of course, I am prepared to do so. I am Ushiromi and Natsuri, even if I am not permitted to bear the one-winged eagle on my clothes. Father gave me permis permission to bear it in my heart. I've managed to get this far by plausibly dashing away in a rage. So far, everything has gone well. Before my eyes was the doorknob of the specified guest room. However, I wonder if it's locked. The servants are normally ordered to lock any unused rooms. What will I do if it's locked? I had dashed away from the others pretending I was returning to my room. Popping back and asking a servant to unlock this guest room would be obviously suspicious. If I can, I'd like to get this eerie hide and seek over with without anyone noticing. I, I never really... Um, mentioned that, or I guess acknowledged it, but the keyhole on the store is the wrong way around, isn't it? It's upside down. It's not supposed to look like this. You're like sticking the key in with the teeth upwards. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Sorry. In that phone call from the one who claimed to be the man from 19 years ago, he said I would win if no one found out, but lose if anyone did find out. He said my husband would be released whether I won or lost, but as a person with a hostage taken against me, I'd rather not lose. I don't like it at all, but I have to go along with this game. When I softly gripped the doorknob, I could feel that it was unlocked. Did Shano no Kumasawa forget to lock it after cleaning? Or did that man unlock it in advance? That man couldn't be waiting for me in this room, could he? And then he'll... All that about hide-and-seek might have been a mere excuse. I kept the fact that was coming here secret, and all the others think I'm resting in my room. If I were to be killed in this situation, it might create a new, baffling murder case, like an extension of the one that occurred this morning. Natsu had some experience with using a Naginata, though only casually. Unlike Eva, she couldn't brag about being able to hold off any single ruffian indefinitely. As she was now, she had no realistic chance of challenging a man with malicious intent and winning. I think a Naginata is something like a dagger or something, right? She readied herself and slowly opened the door. She couldn't just stand around in the corridor and risk being seen by someone. The atmosphere inside the guest room was frigid, and she could sense no trace of anyone waiting impatiently for her. All she could hear were the unsettling sounds of the wind and rain. I don't think it's unsettling, I think it's rather... rather nice. I would love to sleep to those sounds. At first this seemed to prove that there was no one here to threaten her, but soon it only made an uneasy feeling rise up, rise up inside her even more strongly than before. The closet was just off to the side of anyone entering the room. Lined up inside it was a set of hangers for coats. This closet, which had nothing hanging in it, was large enough for even an adult to hide in. She softly opened the closet. 
Of course there was nothing inside. She would have to hide quietly in here for an hour. The room had a wooden floor, but something like a carpet had been laid in the closet. It seemed sitting down wouldn't be a problem. She had been sure someone would be waiting for her in this room, or that a strange letter would be lying in the closet. In the worst case, she had even imagined that her husband's corpse might be inside there. However, none of these things she imagined turned out to be true. The only thing there was a cold guest room, and a lifeless closet that silently urged her to enter. Nazi shrugged, turned around, then locked and chained the guest room door. Did he say anything about locking the door? <laughs> if no one can enter, what's the point of being in this closet? This surely must be a total victory in the hide and seek game against that mystery man. However, it was such an easy victory it made him feel uneasy. What if he's hiding underneath the bed? You just locked yourself in with him. Normally this would be against the rules of hide and seek. Even if she had one, wouldn't this displease the culprit? And now everyone thought she had returned to her room. If they found a room with a chain set, that would make it an impossible close room to them. Erica had dashed through a dimension to confirm alibis or something. If she noticed that the chain was set on this room, there would probably be an uproar that would end in them cutting the chain and searching the room. If that happened, Natsuya would be found hiding in the closet right away. What's so bad about that? Just say you were afraid! Just say you were afraid of the culprit. You didn't want to go to your room because you thought he would be finding you there. That's why you chose a random guest, guest room and you chose to sit in the closet, I guess. I don't know. It would be easy to honestly confess as to why she'd been hiding. However, that man had insisted she not reveal that. If she did talk, she might even endanger her husband. Thinking of it that way, setting the chain, no, even the lock might be a bad idea. That's right. This room was unlocked when I came here. If it were to suddenly become locked, it's conceivable that it might catch someone's attention. It's better if I don't do anything unnecessary. That man only told me to hide. I hate doing it, but I cannot disobey. I undid those two precious locks went into the dimly lit closet filled with the smell of old wood and managed to close the door from the inside. That must be weird. Pitch black. It reminded me of when I was young, when I used to hide somewhere and then surprise my mother. But that peaceful recollection wasn't enough to kill off my anxiety. It really is pitch black. From here I won't even be able to check my watch to see if an hour has passed. I'll probably need to open the door crack every once in a while to let in enough light for my watch. For now, I'll crouch down here. I thought about clutching my knees, but it hurt my back when I tried. I'm not as young as I used to be, even though I was made to sit on the floor holding my knees in every PE class as a great schooler. I now have to struggle just to sit down. Wow, <laughs> just crouching down here for an hour would probably hurt a lot. I would massage her. I think Natsu is... I like her as a character. Not so you did nothing wrong, except for killing that baby, I guess. <laughs> but hey, apparently the baby's still alive, so everything is fine, right? <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't make jokes about that, really. It's she, she did plenty wrong. <laughs> I can't believe I'll be hiding in the darkness for a full hour with nothing to hear except the wind and rain. Ironically, Natsu had made Jessica do the exact same thing in the past. She had done it when Jessica was a little girl to scold her for her persistent bad habits and teach her a lesson. What the fuck? That's not good parenting. <laughs> She'd thought that making Jessica stay put in the darkness would sprout a desire to reflect on her mistakes. And that, this way, she would understand what she had done wrong. It almost feels like I'm being made to do the same thing. If that's the true purpose of this hide and seek. <laughs> this must be my naivety, the hope that, it, that if their goals is to make me repent, nothing will happen here during this hour. Uncertainty and fear of that man's shadow are not what I need right now. Will someone suddenly come to this room, open this closet, 
and do something horrible to me now that I've come here in total secrecy as promised? That's what I should be worrying about. The culprit, or one of his accomplices, is very close by. If they weren't, they wouldn't be able to observe me so far, really. I don't want to think it, but it's highly likely that the culprit bought off one of the servants. The culprit hid an eerie card with Autumn written on it in my room. My personal room is always locked. That trick wouldn't have been possible without a key. Instead of believing that they obtained a key when the servants weren't looking, it's much more realistic to assume that one of the servants led the culprit a hand. Well, there's a one in four chance, isn't there? The thought that this mystery man might be peeking into my heart sent goosebumps running across my whole body. It's true that I like Autumn, but I've never said it out loud. I think a lot of people like Autumn. It's my favorite season too. I don't think anyone's ever heard me say it. If I asked even my husband what my favorite season is, he would probably be stumped for an answer. Oh, come on. I know the favorite season of my secretary and she knows mine. N no. Just once, I told it to a single person. It's right. Sh Shannon. On an autumn day long ago, I happened to be in a good mood. And I mentioned that autumn was my favorite of the four seasons. So... The culprit or one of the accomplices has to be Shannon. Watakshina,秋を好きだというのは、シャノンしか知り得ないこと。なら、これはシャノンが関わっているという明白な証拠ではありませんか。それはあの秋というカードが証明しています。なんということ。十年にもわたり統計の世話になりながら。I trembled and shook with rage. Didn't kin someone say that anger is the fastest sedative to cure fear and uncertainty? It's easy to tell the most fearful humans from within a crowd. They're always the first to get angry. I remember him telling me that. So I realized that this anger was a sign that I was actually frightened, and I tried my best to remain calm. However, this is a vital clue for turning things around. Shannon may not be reliable as a servant, but if she's an accomplice used by that mystery man, this might actually be convenient. A weak-willed girl. If I threaten her, she'll probably spill the name of the mastermind in an instant. I'll secretly tell the police about this. It might become a big clue towards arresting the culprit. I never told anyone except Shannon that I like Autumn. Here we go, a red truth. This is unshakable proof that she's working with the culprit. Though I once thought this time in the closet would crush me with uncertainty and uneasiness, it's actually given me the start of a counterattack. If I wasn't given this time in the darkness, I probably wouldn't have noticed this. I'm almost grateful to the culprit for making up this foolish game. My mood brightens. I still can't guarantee that my husband is safe, but I'll definitely get him back and force the culprit to face judgment. I clenched my fists tightly, and further strengthened my resolve to avoid losing this fight at any cost. Oh shit. At that time I heard a sudden sound of someone trying to force the locked door open, and my heart leapt. The voice was Hideyoshi's. I heard that quiet voice, as though he was talking to himself coming from what was probably the hallway. Apparently he had thought it was locked and tried to unlock it, but had ended up locking the unlocked door instead. Once again there was the sound of the lock turning, and now the door opened with a faint sound. Why is Hideyoshi-san in this room? Footsteps that sounded like his came in, and there was the sound of him closing and locking the door behind him. Then came what seemed to be the sound of him setting the chain. Don't tell me Hideyoshi-san is the mastermind? Or else an accomplice? Is he planning to do something to me in this room? It would take some time to unlock the door from this side, much less remove the chain. If Hideyoshi-san doesn't intend to let me escape from here, he won't give me enough time to undo the chain. 
In that case, if he opens the closet door and sees me crouching here pathetically, just what kind of fearsome words will he say? I don't want to be found. I don't want to be found. I beg you, pass right on by this closet door. Please keep going into the center of the room. My head was so filled with a throbbing sound that it felt like it was about to explode and I almost missed hearing his noisy footsteps. So when I heard a clunking sound coming from the center of the room, I finally realized that he'd passed by the closet and was deeply relieved. As he whispered, he did something that made a clunking sound. He was probably closing the shutters on the windows. Just in case? In case I tried to escape out the window? No, that can't be it. That's right. When I left the parlor, everyone was talking about possibly taking a break. After all, several murders have occurred. And the weather's bad. It'd be nothing abnormal if someone chose to rest in a guest room here instead of returning to the guest house. In that case, locking up and closing the shutters to guarantee safety is the proper course of action to take. When he finished closing the shutters, it was a funk as though he'd flopped over on the bed. It was surprising how much of the situation could be grasped just by the sound. What's going on here? Did the man from 19 years ago plan all this out to put me in the same room as Hideyoshi's son? No, that probably isn't true. He probably planned on me hiding here. But Hideyoshi san coming to take a rest here must have been outside the scope of his plan. Thinking about it that way, having him in the room might be odd, but it also might guarantee my own safety. Unlike his wife, Hideyoshi san is the kind of person I can talk to. If Eva san comes, things will probably get complicated. Maybe I should slip out of this closet now while he's still alone, reveal everything to just him, and ask for help. But if I do that, my husband might get killed. Until my husband is released, I shouldn't do anything rash. Should I go out and talk or hide in here? Moaning from a headache and biting my lower lip, I resisted the urge to crawl out of here. Even if I talk with Hideyoshi's son, I don't know where my husband is being held. I'm sure the traitor who's observing me is nearby. Just talking to him won't solve everything. I suspect that Shannon is a traitor, but there's no proof that Goda and the others aren't. It's all useless. I guess... Leaving he and confessing is too dangerous after all. Eventually, I heard a strange sobbing voice. Whose voice was it? I strained my ears trying to hear that strange voice. I was shocked to discover that it was Hideyoshi weeping. Well, yeah, he lost his only son, so... Hideyoshi, who had lost his only son, was finally able to shed tears and cry, now that he was all alone like this. Thinking that he needed to support Eva in her distress, he acted as though he alone was standing firm. However, he is a good he has as good a right to cry as anyone. It's a weird sentence. And now that he's found a place where no one can see his tears, he finally let himself do it. And I've lost my daughter. I haven't seen a corpse with my own eyes, so it still doesn't really feel like she's dead. But if the one who carried her off was the culprit, and he had some res repulsive motive for doing it. Just thinking about it makes it feel as though my chest will tear itself apart. The reason I'm hiding in here now is that I'm thinking more about my still living husband than my dead daughter. But if I were given a chance, I'd be wailing at the top of my lungs too. However, I still cannot let myself do that. It isn't because the man from 19 years ago told me to hide. It's because I'm the final head Ush of the Ushuromia family. It's been completely overshadowed by the recent uproar. But last night, Petla Kun found the hidden gold and even gained the hat's ring from the mysterious envelope. At the very, very end, when it's all over, I probably won't be able to prevent his ascension as the head. And when everything regarding the distribution of the inheritance is revealed, the Ushuramia family honor and glory passed down from father will plummet to the earth. So, I am the final head. Betlakun will probably inherit the remaining wealth of the Ushuramia family. However, its history and honor will all end with my generation. Therefore, I am the final head. I must not cry. 
Not yet. Until I get my husband back and avenge my daughter, I will not be allowed to shed tears. In a closet, I silently hung my head as I listened to Hideyoshi's son sobs. Huh? My heart leapt. I heard a sound that must have been Hideyoshi san who had probably been lying prostrate on the bed, bounding to his feet. Did he notice me? He was clearly in a struggle with someone. Who on earth could it be? No, it doesn't matter who it is. It's probably the culprit and they're probably trying to take Hideyoshi san's life. Shouldn't I jump out of here and help him? If I can't help him, shouldn't I call for help? No, but if I do something like that, I'll be questioned about why I was hiding here. However, if Hideyoshi san gets killed like this... No, now isn't the time to be saying that. At this rate, he'll certainly be killed. I'll jump out of here and help him right now. Ah, uh -huh, but if I do that, even if I can save Hideyoshi san, I might be abandoning my husband's life. Hideyoshi san's life and my husband's life. How sinful it would be to try and weigh those against each other. At that time, there was a loud sound as the door opened and the chain was pulled tight. Someone was trying to open the door despite the chain being set. He dead. She opened and closed the door over and over again with all her might, but of course she couldn't snap the chain. Iverson called for help in a loud voice and raced through the hallway. I wonder how hard it is to break a chain like that, actually. It would be fun to try. By this time, the room had settled back into silence. And that earlier sense of Hideyoshi being in a noisy struggle had disappeared completely. What's going on here? So right now, I'm in the same room as the murderer who killed Hideyoshi's son? In that case, the culprit should try to escape from the room as soon as possible. So why are they hiding in here? I haven't heard anything. Nothing that might have been a culprit who attacked Hideyoshi's son running away. No matter how much I strain my ears, I can't sense anyone in the room. In fact, it's so silent that it makes more happen just a second ago feel like an illusion. In other words, does this mean that the culprit is hiding his breath, standing just outside his closet, waiting for me to stumble out? I don't even know what I should be scared of anymore. If only I could just melt away into the darkness of this closet. I mustn't remain in this room any longer. I get the feeling I have more to worry about than just my personal safety. But what should I do? I don't even know if it's a good idea to leave this closet. Eventually the clamber of many rushing footsteps approached. I'll hold my breath again and melt away into the darkness of the closet.